said Barney was just a restaurant owner. He did everything in his power to build his restaurant, but to his demise, he failed on all of them. He couldn't take it anymore. So instead of trying to build a decent restaurant that serves the customers, he decided to throw all of that out the window and make this the shittiest restaurant ever. All I ever wanted to do is hustle. All I ever wanted to do is hustle. Welcome back to the viewers world. In the previous episode, we turned this uh, shitty ass restaurant into a bar. Now we're gonna do the reverse, which is to turn the bar back into a shitty restaurant again. But I'm not gonna do that for nothing. Just gonna go home and I'm gonna show you a little something. Yeah, go, go. Go home, donkeys. Go home to your owner. The funny thing about business in Sims 2 is that look at that amount of money and who needs money loading they just sell it and check this out Boop. <laughs> only in the Sims 2 would you be able to sell for 52k and buy it back again for like 9k so that is definitely a profit we're just gonna go back to the Yelp's kitchen again and this time Chef Morgan Barney is gonna come back with a fanchion. We will be turning this place upside down. So with the newly acquired funds, I have basically like ransacked the restaurant. I just took over the bathroom and make it my own. And also the computer and the grill and all that stuff. I left the bathroom without any sort of septic system. And now what I'm gonna do, I will be hiring employees and underpay the shit out of them. Not to mention, I will be charging everything the most expensive as it can get. Let's hire some employees. I don't care how many of you, I'm, because I'm just gonna underpay all of them. Let's just set this to super expensive. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna charge this much. <laughs> Absolutely reasonable price. I can tell you that. Come on, where are those donkeys? Come on, employees. Get the fuck in here. Yeah, I'm gonna let Faith be the chef because she's a no woman. Since nobody wants to enter this shit. I'm just gonna make it cheap again just so I can make money. You see, the last time the restaurant failed, it was because of the employees' uh, wages. You know what? This time, hey, I'm not making the same mistake. And I'm gonna give you the wage of four. Yeah, it's, it's very generous. I mean, you make more than those kids at Africa. Don't worry about it. It's just a paper. That's it. Oh, wait. Already. <laughs> Already, this restaurant project is going very well. They already quitting. Bitch, go back to work. I forgot to be like absolute dickhead to the customers hey are you thirsty would you like a drink enjoy and somehow it didn't drop just yet you want to play rock paper scissor get back to fucking work oh great great fucking restaurant up in this bitch wait she she said she had enough but oh yes now she's now she had enough yeah chef morgan body doesn't have time for bullshit get to work bitch hello mr pierre you have a nice mustache it would be very, very annoying if it got very wet. Oh no, now your mustache is all messed up. Yeah, bitch. Who gives a shit? I'm here to make this a serious restaurant ever. I want to see if I can have the negative customer loyalty. How would it be like to have the maximum? Oh, bitch, do something. Get back to work. Why aren't you working? I paid you generously. Look, you get four dollars for some money for nothing. That's what you get. You said you might be tired. So I'll figure, I'll give you some face wash. This is what happens when you treat your employees in a, basically kind of like sleep in a certain way. But she hasn't decided to quit just yet because she's getting free money basically. Okay, finally. I think we should have a change in our employees' relation. Oh, what's up? Hungry? Hey, I brought some hot dogs over here. Later, you can have my wiener as well. Sup, bitch? How would you like a drink, Miss Fit? 
You gotta have faith in this drink. It tastes very well. Like your husband. Well, time to acquire new employees. No problem. They are fucking expensive as shit. Oh, mamma mia. You married? Doesn't matter if you're married or not. What I'm gonna do now is that I just gonna make it so that the chef will only cook like the food that is out of his skill. So basically if he has like zero cooking skill, I'm just gonna make him like cook food with 10 cooking skill. I almost forgot my goal here is to make this like the shittiest restaurant. Hello miss, I think that there's something up your torso. <laughs> Fucking bitch! <laughs> Just a prank! Bro, sis! Hey, you motherfuckers better make some money or else I'll underpay you. So, this in a way, be it was because I have the ticket machine over here, so the customer, they don't really pay attention to the restaurant. Oh, she's actually like it. Oh, she she's actually enjoying that. What the fuck? Okay, that that's fucking enough. <laughs> Who would have thought you would meet a freak? Absolute freak. Oh yeah, he have that critic bullshit guy. Let's annoy the critic. Come on, quick, 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 quick. This is our chance. We gotta annoy the shit out of this piece of shit. Hey, what's up? How would you like to debate about politics? Yeah, you, what's wrong with you? You don't like the Jupiter? Oh yeah, I don't like Jupiter either. Where's the drink throwing? Come on, give me that shit. Come on, go to work. Just a prank, bro. Oh man, look at this. They even enjoying this. Huh, you wanna take this outside, boy? Yeah, I have... I have the karate belt thingy, you don't know? Your chef Morgan Barney doesn't fuck around. How about this? Okay. <laughs> My employees are very well taken care of, I can tell you that. Okay, it seems like my food critic just fucking hits me right now. Where's the throw drinks? Yeah, Mr. Food Critic, I'll show you a thirsty from all this waiting. How about this? Okay, time to take this outside. I mean, take this to the fist fight. Yeah, Chef Morgan doesn't fuck around. That's the best fucking restaurant ever. Customers are waiting and my, my employees aren't doing shit. Okay, and also they are leeching off my fucking money right now. Hey, go back to work, donkeys. I'm just gonna overwork the shit out of my employees. Hey, you can die in my restaurant as well. Okay, my, fuck this shit. It seems like my employees aren't doing enough work, so I'm just gonna do this instead. Yeah, this is not a charity. Fuck time. So enjoy the pay cut. Oh yeah, look, our, our business rank <laughs> has gone down. The best. Oh yeah, and, and his ass also gone up in rank. Where's the customer loyalty? I'm seeing you a negative two star. Hey, look, I'm not gonna give you free money for la for loitering around. Ridiculously underpaid? Come on, fast food worker, earn less than that. I will pay them like once in mornings if I could. Okay, hey, you wanna take this outside, boy? Yeah, you wanna take this outside? Ah, that goddamn useless donkey. You don't work at all. So what? The water around the street. Water around the street, what? Fuck the streets. Oh, shit, wait, wait. Woo, fuck, yes. Yeah, okay, you piece of shit. Hey, Chef Morgan is not gonna let this shit slide. Okay, he kicked the chef ass. <laughs> Goddamn donkeys. Useless donkeys. Why don't you work? You're just taking my wages, aren't you? Hello, Miss Lindsay. Are you thirsty? Okay, it looks like you would take a, you would have a drink at your home instead. <laughs> Bitch ass!
Don't worry guys, everything is uh, okay over here. We are definitely bonding. Hey, you useless woman. Get back to the kitchen. Goddamn woman. And all that. What? I gotta slap the shit out of you. Hey, Chef Morgan doesn't stand around for this. Yeah, look, look, he's ready to throw punches. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Chef Morgan's born ready for this. He lives for the fight. Come on. Are you do something? Or I'm gonna force you to do it. Sanjay, why don't you do anything? Okay, here that is the last of our employees. It looks like it's on my own to make this a shitty ass restaurant ever. These fucking guests, they are just there. <laughs> well, I gotta make this, uh, give, give this guy the worst restaurant experience ever. Oh, you don't like my sales pitch, boy? You don't like it? Yeah. Yeah, have some face wash. You are awake, I think. Be host, I'm gonna host them then. Not give them anything. <laughs> now enjoy the enjoy the five star experience with invisible food. This is a restaurant where you have to use your imagination. Enjoy your day. Okay, come on, come on. I, I want that business rank to be negative five. Okay, 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 okay. come on, come on, come on. <laughs> this guy, he, he still wants it. I am the one who doesn't need to be mean to customers to make them hate me. Hello, miss. How'd you like your experience so far? I'm sure everything has gone alright with those stinking ass dishes and flies and puddle of water. Who knows, what could this be? Piss. You're having fun? I'm just gonna give you some freestyle performance while you wait for your... while you are enjoying your imaginary five-star course. Oh, it's, a, it's another food critic. Yeah, how about taking note of this bitch? Today, I went to Chef Morgan Barney restaurant. It was an exquisite experience when I came into a restaurant. I get the pleasure of witnessing his freestyle performance. Hey, don't worry about this. Don't worry about this restaurant. It's just my side hustle. My main hustle is the freestyle. Hello, uh, Ivy. How would you like some uh, freestyle for your midnight meal? Don't worry, guys. She is enjoying the performance. Oh, yes, another potential customer just so I can uh, de rank my business. How great. Come on, be house, Morgan. Be house, for you shall receive negative sauce. Yeah, you don't like I fucking hate ghosts. Yeah, I hate the stock market. Yeah, I hate the stock market as well. How about some back rub instead? Oh my god, say just accept some back rub after the argument. Oh man, this guy, he, he was looking at the menu and he, he seemed disgusted by this woman. I think you have been here for quite a while, so I figured wash your face just so you can be awake, okay? Witnessing this reality. You know what, I'm just gonna make him wait. Best restaurant experience ever. Ew. Now I happen to sort of look like Obama. Why he's having fun? His customers are definitely not. Yes, come on. Level f minus five. Credit, you wanna lose faith in my restaurant again? Well, suit yourself, son. Hey, restaurant too good for you, ninjas. Fucking wizard coming to my restaurant. Who said I can. And so time gone by and and Chef Morgan Bonnie keeps rapping and rapping and the customer keeps waiting and waiting. I'm sure two of you don't mind waiting at all. So just keep waiting. The food will eventually come. Come on, you gave up too quickly, son. Hello, guests. Would you like some food? I have some hamburgers. But you would rather wait for some other food instead. So 
just keep on waiting you just gotta manifest food into your stomach the funny thing here is that it actually takes quite a while you know to get like minus five stars it even takes skill to be the worst restaurant in the sims 2 it's, it's a very skill based game unlike the sims 4 and all that yes fuck yes so finally there you have it folks minus five this is keep in mind this is like the, the lowest possible business rank in the sims 2 so yes i have done it i have become the worst business in this case a restaurant in the sims 2 he yeah, ain't fully your kitchen nightmares if the chef wasn't serving food from the microwave and well that concludes our episode of viewer suggestion sims 2 series thanks for watching and if you have anything that you want me to do with this world leave it in the comments down below and i'm gonna try to fulfill it if i can of course thanks for watching and see you next time